player two, press start. Hi everyone and welcome back to Player 2 Press Start. Last time on Earthbound, we finished up Deep Darkness and we made our way to Tenda Village. Man, that guy's rocking out down there. Do my dance left, right, left, right. <laughs> I got skinny arms too. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, I never mentioned how I like the, the music here. But we're in Tenda Village now and everyone's too shy to talk to us. But what we're going to do is talk to the little devil dude over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to go down like here so you can see his cool sprite. We're all shy. Rumor I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Well, is he like, speak like Yoda? Just a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like him. But he's got like a big mustache and a cane and stuff, so he's clearly the village elder. Look at his eyes. He's like way more bug-eyed than yeah, any other. dancing like, oh. I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but whenever I was a kid, I always would always talk to him just like this when on the the side that he comes on. So I never even knew he had a cane or anything. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a little strange. All right. Well, you know, God, this is cool, but now we're kind of stuck. I don't know where the hell to go. I don't know. What? Oh, it's it's Apple Kid. All right, it's been a while since we talked. It's Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. Now turn in slab. It's winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now. Blah blah blah. Eraser, eraser. 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 I know where there's an eraser. We gotta erase. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What? Uh, huh? Huh? What? Hey, oh, oh, fuck. I know this music. Oh. It's that son of a bitch again. Who? Oh. God. Two. And another, Damn it. another phone call. Talk with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. Oh, dude, why are you talking to me? How'd you get my number? <laughs> How to change a boiled egg back to a raw egg. That's so useful. Apple Kid's missing. I know he's missing. I was on the phone with him. He never came back. It's open to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness. Oh, that might be uh, kind of useful. I think we're looking for that, too. Interesting. Or my invention, so hope you'll understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Shut up, Orange Kid. You suck. All right, well, uh, I guess uh, we know what we gotta be looking for now, don't we? Hmm. Yes. All right, we're back here in Scaraba because we have a few things I want to take care of before we head to Winters to uh, save our, our our genius in distress. The, I don't want to say like damsel in distress, but genius. Uh, there you might get, as well. it? get it? Yeah, um, yeah I get it. Uh, no, funny. I, I, fuck All right. You. But uh, yeah, we want to get uh, these enemies out of the way that we missed before. You know, New Year's coming up. We want to start with a clean slate and sunstroke. Apparently, what the hell? <laughs> He's, like, <laughs> He's like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I think he couldn't make it around, so he just. Like, you couldn't make it straight to it? I don't know, that was messed up. Yeah, I feel But, um, yeah, okay, first enemy that we're missing is the Dread Scalpion. Uh, these guys are just like uh, the old ones, um, but they'll, you know, they'll use thunder, they can poison you, they're just a little bit stronger, but you can just use freeze and they go down. Uh, I didn't really ma make a big deal of it before, but we got freeze omega and this is like... A the king move. amazing move. One of the best. Really high chance to solidify someone, too. So we'll show it off, even though it's kind of overkill. And we'll shoost with you. And you know what? We'll try and get a healing alpha off. Just get rid of this sunstroke. I feel really bad for this Skelpian. I bet oh, you him and that yeah, Buka, he's dead as fuck. He was like, Look at that. Six Come on, let's, let's gang up on him. They won't see us. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> they got Freeze Omega. I'm going to out of here, dude. I can't Whoa, do it. Whoa, I only agreed to so much. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can uh, get this last guy now. <laughs> and Sunstroke again. Alright, but here's the last enemy of Scaraba. The Great Crested Buka. Uh, just like the ones in Dusty Dunes Desert, just a little bit more annoying and way more stoned. Jeez, look at those eyes. Those are cached. Wow. Cached eyes. But something else I want to try out here. Um, Where is it? There it is. I'm going to try and use this rock candy trick. Uh, not to exploit it really, I just want to use it on Jeff to get his IQ to 45 so we can fix that bazooka before we head into the, the next area. Uh, normally I just level him up, but I'm trying to avoid levels and, uh, you know, he's pretty far away from leveling. But you know what, let's try healing Alpha and hopefully we'll get lucky and uh, he'll get some IQ. Oh, nice! nice. Alright! Yeah! And we got two, that is that's perfect, that's exactly what we needed. Yeah, that's, that's good uh, luck right there. But yeah, take it, Great Crested Buka! Hey, right. man, lay off. 
Uh, but these guys, you know, they pretty much have a normal tolerance, or a fairly high tolerance, I'll say, to both fire and freeze. I actually think you want to use fire. I think that's what they're most susceptible to. But, you know, I don't waste my PP. I just kind of attack them. Poo, you're still weak as hell. Yeah. But in due time, in due time, he will be epic. He already has proven himself with Star Storm. Oh, yes. Which we'll be using shitloads of that later on. We can really nuke stuff. But, um, yeah, now we're going to head to, uh, I'm probably going to go to Saturn Valley and fix this bazooka. But we're going to do that, and we'll meet you guys back in Winters. So, see you there. Time to, uh, save our long-lost friends. Alright, we're here in Winters to start our quest down to save Apple Kid. Uh, right, well, we actually went to Saturn Valley, and we had Jeff fix the broken bazooka, so we have the heavy bazooka now. What does it say? Heavy bazooka. Items for Jeff. Really just does a lot of damage to the enemy during a battle. Because of its explosive power, it may affect others besides the target creature. Can be used many a time. Cool. Awesome. Excellent. Great. Grand. Wonderful. One of Jeff's best items, yeah. honestly. Yeah, definitely. Definitely is. And you guys will see how coming up. But what is Maxwell doing out here? Jeff! Jeff! Oh, I can't even remember the voice we have for this guy anymore. It's probably funny. Yeah, well. Let us know. Well, yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> so, uh, we got the chick monkey. It's me again, that chewing gum monkey's wife. I don't have a name. That's, you just, I'm the chewing gum monkey. My husband left me here to go play with Tessie. Oh, on the shores of Lake Tess. Well, well that's useful information, but he's kind of a dick, huh? Yeah. Well, now we're back here. Now, the shortcuts we used last time are really going to come in handy because there's all new enemies here! Whoa! Whoa! We're diamonds! Well, you know what? I guess we're going to get one out of the way right now. Mm -hmm. There are three new enemies here. Let's see which one this is. Oh, no. Oh, the Lesser no. Mook. These are actually the enemies that we were skipping in Dungeon Man. And, uh, you know, they're pretty nasty. They have like a 50% chance to pretty much kill you. They can use Flash Alpha, Flash Beta. They can diamondize you, and they can also put you to sleep. They have fairly high defense, but I usually just bash them anyways. You can always use uh, Shield Sigma here to stop uh, freezes and whatnot. Or whoever has the rain pendant, they'll be good too. But I'm just gonna bash them and shoot. Oh, you know what? No, we're not gonna show the heavy bazooka quite yet. We'll bash them too. Yeah, these but guys just are, a few bashes, so they'll go down. They're pretty bad news, though. Although they do kind of remind me of mages that wear robes, you know? Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Because they are pretty much like the caster mage kind of enemy archetype in this. Yeah, it makes me feel like they made that connection purposefully. Mm -hmm. well, let's see if we can... Oh, oh I don't oh, know. Well, man, I man, I'm good. Wow. Just Whatever knocked that him was, out. I suppose He's we'll probably find. the weakest of enemies. I'm pretty sure you can rest here. Uh, we don't need to do that yet because we're freaking baller. Yeah. And we got giant weapons of destruction that we have not utilized yet. But I'm going to use my shortcut. Because these guys are here throughout the whole winter's area, actually. Even if you came back here before, you would you could have fought them, but they would have just kicked your ass. Especially those mooks. Oh yeah, they you want to stay right from good. these guys. Where are you, my friend? Come back, Sebastian. Oh, what? Sebastian. Oh, what is saw Tessie? It was like saying it, you're a stone edge. Kidnap one of my friends along the way. Oh. That sucks. Where are all the cool leaves? Oh, it's the monkey and... What? Uh -oh. God. Oh, stupid damn it! Oh. Everybody. Damn you, Spielberg! <laughs> She's taken instantaneously. I'm a <laughs> photographer, a genius if I see so myself. You can't run from me! Say Fuzzy Pickles. My New Year's resolution is going to be to fucking kill Hold that man away. someday. But, yeah, now that's out of the way. Sebastian, chum. So, Seabass has been kidnapped. Oh, boy. And, uh, yeah. Tony's missing too, so what do you have to say? Yep, I have some chewing gum. No, it's chewing gum. Chewing? Like, like Pokey would say? <laughs> hey, Nish. Yeah, well. Hey, okay. you guys! Yeah. Tessie's back! Oh, What's up, boy. guys? Just chilling in the water here. <laughs> How's that shadow on top of his head? That makes no sense! It looks like a little hat. Like he's wearing a hat and the monkey's standing on the hat. Or he's standing on like a flying saucer thing. Like no, it's a fe it looks like a fez. Come on, hop on my back. <laughs> you guys want to come down into the water with me? It's real nice. <laughs> That's Mon a little creepy, right? Monkey just shit himself, and the monkeys. As a result, he shit our heads. You know, I never noticed the monkey's got like a little pixel nose, like a little gray dot there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. 
I don't like his nips yeah. either. Makes me uncomfortable. Monkey nips. Yeah, kind of gross. Well, I mean, they could have. <coughs> anyway, they could have they, they, they chosen a different color for that. I mean, I'm talking about the wrong monkey. Be black. What is wrong with you? Everything. Yeah, you could, like, simmer down now. Right. Simmer down now, okay. jinxed. All right, okay. All right, I'm okay. Man, we're actually getting near the uh, the end of the area where you can find these enemies. We gotta run into two more. Hope we don't have to hunt for them, to be honest. Yeah, hunts are never good news. No, we already did our hunting in the desert. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Wait, uh, could you Wait. just let me out on the, on the wall? I can't The monkey swim. can't swim! He's dead now. <laughs> Bubblegum monkey is now dead. We'll never see him again. All right, there should be some enemies down here. Oh, a bunch of them. Bring it on, enemies, okay? I didn't mean all three of you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Well, you know how this works. These are actually all three of the enemies here. This would have worked out if we just did it earlier. All right, first guy up. Rolling Robo. Um, you know, they're not too crazy. I don't really think they can do too much. They fire a beam that's just like mid-level damage. They can neutralize PSI, she they can do physical shield or something. And then, of course, the sniffles that we always do. Um, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna, I'm pretty sure they're susceptible to freeze. The robos. Or we can just do fire. I mean, fire's not gonna hurt the robo at all, but yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do fire. I got a plan, you'll see. Wow. And I finally wanna show off. Oh, I'm gonna use the rust promoter and not show you guys the heavy bazooka yet. It does it to all enemies, so it's kind of a waste. But I just wanna get out of our inventory. But the other enemy. Oh, son of a bitch, I hit the button twice. No. I need to show you guys the woolly shambler over there, so we'll just throw that shit up on the screen anyways, because this is an insignificant enemy and they suck. The only cool thing is that you can drop a... Yeah, there it is. Boom, look at all that damage. Wow! But the woolly shamblers... They, I just... I hate them. They're like a, a waste of space. A sweet sweet or something. You it guys is. have horizontal eyes, we have vertical <laughs> eyes, the worst The vertical have. eyes are superior! Oh, tentacles. Uh, they just fire beams, they, the best, worst thing they can do is use flash. I always just kind of bash them. Let's use prey, because I'm feeling saucy. What? And we'll bash them with that. They kind of have some high tolerance to PSI moves. I mean, they take 75% damage from freeze, so you can always, that's what I would do. They only have like 400 health, so a high power freeze will pretty much kill them. And there's the beam. Oh man, Ness, like we've caught up on levels pretty good. Usually we're kind of far back, but we're not doing too bad now. We're still a tiny bit behind, but not too bad. Um, all right, well, since we've got all the enemies out of the way, oh, ho, ho, look at that. Good thing we uh, got rid of that pencil. Yeah, yeah, jerks. Well, okay, I guess we gotta fight these guys, but uh, we're just gonna cut ahead to going through the, uh, the little cave up ahead. And uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. Should we survive? Ended! All right, we're back on the other side of the caves. Man, it was annoying. The enemies kept running into us despite the fact of being scared of us. Oh, the bears don't run away! Uh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it! What do you say, dude? I think he changes something. Kids don't look very bright. Le okay, let me explain. You guys are idiots. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. Stupid. You must have seen it on TV or read it about in the tabloids. You stupid kids. Yes, that That's Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Yeah, that one. I sit out here all day to say that to somebody. You kids just so happen to be passing by. Now I'm gonna go home <laughs> and I'm gonna watch TV. Oh, well, we got the mouse here. I've been waiting for you. My master apple kid, come on. Eraser, eraser machine. Yeah, he did call. He felt like, <laughs> he felt this. like this. I was there, but, but I was, was helpless. helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. Oh, cool. cool. We got the eraser, eraser. Well, awesome. We finally made it here. So now, obviously, we want to go check out Stonehenge. That's what everyone's pointing us to. Let's uh, get a little instant revitalization first. But uh, we're gonna have to save our next trek for the next year. <laughs> so in 2013, we'll see you guys in Stonehenge on the next episode of Player 2 Press Start. So, for the last time of this year, comment, subscribe, give us a big thumbs up for our video, and always feel free to check us out on Facebook or Twitter where you can see the inner workings of our mysterious and emotional thinkings. And that's what <laughs> we gotta go for, yeah! Later. Nice. Nice. Nice!